What's up Lego builders? Welcome back to Coconut Brick Studios and today I'm going to be showcasing my mini mock called Into the Devil's Lair. Before I get into explaining the techniques and the design process behind this mock, I want to give you guys the quick backstory. So there's not too much going on here just because it's such a small mock, but basically what we have here is a small patrol of clone troopers led by Commando Boss and Fixer, two Republic Commandos, and they just came across this cave right here where this lone trooper burst out without a helmet or a gun, just running pale mail, you know, scared out of his life. So this clone trooper right here is hailing him, trying to get him to stop, you know, calm down, figure out what's going on. Fixer here just signaled to this guy they're going to go set up a perimeter, see if they can find any other survivors nearby, and check to make sure there's no droid patrols lurking about, and then Boss will be coming in here to figure out what's going on as well. All this is taking place on the planet of Ryloth. Now that that's out of the way, time to explain why this mock looks the way it does. So it had been about a year, eight months since I had done a mini mock and there were some mock contests going on. There had been a bunch of mock contests going on. I was like, man, it's been a while since I've done something and entered it. Like that's always fun, you know, just throwing together a little mock, seeing how well you do, getting some exposure, supporting some other channels. So decided to try my luck with a mock contest and First things first, I knew if I wanted to make a mock that was going to have any chance of winning or doing well, I needed to be very unique, not necessarily large, crazy with lots of clones, but uniqueness, you know, use lots of cool advanced techniques. So I started designing the base plate. I knew I wanted to step away from the traditional square base plate and I wasn't really prepared to do any kind of freeform mock. I still wanted to have some kind of frame. So I decided to go with the circular frame, kind of like what H2 Brick has done a couple of times. It's a pretty simple design. I'm going to do a full tutorial on how to do it in the future, but basically it's just one by four bricks at an angle until they create a full circle. And then on the inside of the black frame, I've got these slope pieces kind of put together into weird rock formations. And I put them on their side in what's called the snot technique. And I stuck them all together. And I did this to kind of capture that desert-like terrain you know how when mud gets wet and then dries really fast you get these cracks and crevices in the soil that's basically what I was trying to go for and then you can see right here there's a hard line where the bedrock of this mountain right here meets this dried out desert area since it's just a mini mock I only needed to create as much of the mountain as was necessary to depict what was going on so picture this as being like a long rock face you know kind of like what I've been doing with Utapau but I just built this little part with the cave entrance down there so that's where the bedrock is right there and I wanted to do this first because I liked the contrast between the uh, typical you know plate and slope technique with the less common snot technique for groundwork and second was because I wasn't really sure what I was going to do on this side and I knew if I did just snot work it wouldn't look very good so I knew I needed to include some kind of tall structure to help balance out the flatness of this side. I removed all the minifigures so you guys could really appreciate and see what I did with the terrain. So you've got a lot of these larger chunks and then in between all of those I slid little cheese slopes and smaller slopes because I wanted to achieve that cracked look but I didn't want it to be too big. You know I didn't want these massive gaps that these clone troopers were having to hop and jump across. I don't know how well you can tell but this whole section right here is slightly raised up to create kind of a natural step. I did this to add just a little bit more height and detail to the mock that way it's not just all flat and then runs into there. So you have this little step up and then it goes up even further into this area. As far as the cave entrance goes I didn't do anything fancy just stuck some slopes and inverted slopes to create some kind of an entrance and then back behind that I placed some 2x4 brick. This helps create the illusion of depth that the cave just goes back into nothing and then we've got some plants right here. I figured I wanted this area to be a little bit more fertile than this area and these little plants added some detail and I like using these when I'm building on Ryloth just because I feel like they fit the type of plants that you see so help bring the mock to life a little bit more. I I do also have this dead droid right here. I got the idea for these legs from a really cool YouTuber. He's fairly new to YouTube. Unfortunately, his name escapes me right now, but I'll make sure to put his channel in the description. So make sure to check him out. He gets full credit for that leg idea. I saw and had to try it out for myself. And I think it looks pretty cool overall. So I'll give you guys one last look at the mock without the minifigures. So you can kind of see what the landscape and stuff looks like. That wraps up this mini mock showcase. Make sure to let me know what you think of this mock down below in the comments and what your favorite part or least favorite part of the mock was. If you like this video, don't forget to leave me a big thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see more like mocks like this, make sure to smash that subscribe button so you won't miss out on any future content. But until next time, happy building.